Here we are, Left Coast Live with Hurricane Roses. Hello. Introduce yourselves. I'm Jesse. I play drums. I'm Angie. I sing. I'm Dave. I play guitar. Ethan, bass. And the missing member. And we're missing uh, John, who also plays guitar, and Mike, who also plays guitar. And today we have a special guest, Gianni, playing the organ. Um, tell me about the music scene since your country and so like most of what I know is a rock scene how do you how do you like where do you fit in you feel like or we don't where are your homies what's your crew yeah, yeah no crew it? it's just us it's lone band Again, I, don't I think there's a revival happening like. yeah and I don't think I mean if anybody really knows country we're not country at all I mean you feel like you're maybe trying to that's like where your niche is just trying to like sort of be in country but sort of not I think we would all have a different answer for that like I would love I mean if it were me I would love to you know do um, old time country music like that's just what I feel most comfortable doing but then there are artists like you know Feist and Wilco and bands like that who have spins on that sort of thing that I really I would love to do that kind of thing too so that's why I mean if it were just me it wouldn't even be remotely as interesting as it is with these guys because yeah. they bring that little extra edge to it um, um, what other bands are local bands that you're listening to is there any or who do you like to play with worker bee worker bee yeah uh, I think record winner is making a really good record right now uh -huh. um, they're awesome the mumblers awesome band uh, Careless Hearts, played with them a few times, great band. Uh, Northern Sun, they're buddies of ours. and seem like the closest fit, kind of. In sort of, of in music. that same vein yeah. type stuff. Anything you want to say about what's coming up or uh, going down? Just really, really excited uh, to be playing at Left Coast Live here today. Like the People who put this thing on are genuinely amazing people and really fortunate to be part of uh, the scene here in San Jose. and. Really, really stoked for Save Alternative too, and what they're doing here locally, and how it's going to grow and and become bigger and bigger. Just thank you, Hurricane Roses. Thank you. Thanks. We're at Left Coast Left Coast Live with the Trims. If you'd uh, introduce yourselves and what you do in the band. My name is Gabriel. I am the vocalist and rhythm guitar player. My name is Eric. I play the bass. My name's Brian, I'm the uh, lead guitarist. And I'm Billy, I am the heart of the band, I play the drums. <laughs> uh, you just released a record, uh, We Cried For Fun, in February. And then also you're recording a new EP that's coming out pretty soon. I think you said October 28th, maybe, was what you said on stage? 29th. 29th? 29th is, we're releasing it. Uh, what are you doing different on this EP than you're doing on your record? Like how's your band changing or what are you thinking about as we're opposed to the old <laughs> records we're definitely getting i'd say the songs are a, a, a tad darker um and a lot more musical atmospheric um more emotion in these songs and they're actually getting a little bit longer our, our songs are pretty notorious for being you know three minutes mm -hmm. three three and a quarter minutes and these ones are like pushing you know past four well, what are you all listening to locally and nationally or worldly Oh wow, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, locally, yeah, Bell Thieves are a band that actually opened for us at the Wagon, and uh, we uh, met them through a Save Alternative event, and um, Thomas, who is the singer, and we really dig them. Uh, is there any other local bands that you'd like to shout out to or you're really into? Um, I, I, I like the, a local band called the Soft Volume. They're a pretty cool band. We played with them a few times, and uh, they got a, a unique sound that's really catchy. And sometimes you listen to bands where it kind of repeats and it gets real monotonous, but this, it's a little bit different with these guys, and I, I look forward to hearing them a little bit more. Actually, locally, there's, there's such a, a rich you know, pool to, to take from. Like, uh, on the progressive side, you have bands like you know, Satabria, Case in Theory, um, The Blank Manuscript, all great San Jose bands. Then, uh, like indie sounding wise, you have the Bell Thieves, Vulture Smile, like he said, a uh, soft volume. Um, and then on the, like, the more ska punk side, you have the Rivals and uh, them Rude Boys. There's, a, there's just a whole bunch of local bands that we really, really love and uh, 
great great sounds coming coming out of this area. A lot of people say San Jose doesn't have a scene, so yeah. but it kind of seems like there is a scene. That used to be true. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's definitely. <laughs> we think it's yeah, it's definitely picking up. And uh, yeah, all the bands that were mentioned, we um, enjoy playing with and uh, have played shows with before in the past. And all right, well, thank you very much for uh, being part of the interview. All right, and, uh, thank playing you. Show. Thank you. Alrighty. Here we are at Left Coast Live, the back alley with Seabright. Uh, introduce yourself. What Hello do you everybody. do? Hello, I'm, uh, I'm Justin uh, from Seabright, and uh, I'm here being interviewed. And uh, the occasion is Left Coast Live. I'm extremely excited about this. Tell me about the things that you use to make music. Uh, I use laptops a lot, uh, and that was kind of my approach at first. Uh, but lately, I have been getting into hardware, so uh, I think right now my sound is a 50-50 mix of software and digital laptop stuff, as well as like kind of traditional hardware, analog, and tube equipment. And uh, my main purpose is to kind of make the listener totally confused as to what is happening. Is it digital? Is it analog? And uh, that's something that I'm really interested in right now. Uh, you just released Feel Good in June? Yes. Uh, how long did that take you to write by yourself? I started working on that in February and I finished in June. Uh, so right now I'm kind of on this really weird schedule where I want to put out two albums every year, one in the winter. Good goal. <laughs> yeah, one in the winter, one in the summer. It's uh, been pretty taxing thus far, but you know I got it all finished. So February to, to June, I got it completely finished and now I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do for the winter, the next winter album. Do you think the ebb and flow helps your creative process? Yeah, definitely. It gives me new ideas and uh, new kind of vibes for the song. So, you know, I'm hoping that each album is, you know, has its own identity. You know, even though it's, it's written by me, each one should, you know, have something a little bit different about it. Who are you here at the Left Coast Live to see? Uh, definitely here to see the Good Karma, the Good Karma lineup. It's uh, pretty solid. Yeah, and I think that's, that's the, the group of musicians in San Jose that I feel you know, really close to, and I feel like closest, that's the closest genre to, to my style, kind of the D, DIY indie stuff. So, um, Ugly Winter and Family Room and Sour Patch, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that was, th those were, that was the lineup that I wanted to see. That's really cool. Uh, so I assume those kind of like basically local bands that you're also listening to. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. What are the like big, like more national things that you're listening to or things that are underground that you're checking out? Uh, well, I, you know, I try to stay up with like new music and I do okay with that, but I'm really interested in hearing older music. I just love to, to hear like 60s and 50s rock and like 50s and 60s and 70s like jazz and psych and stuff like that. So, you know, I know there's great music coming out, but I, I really like to do my homework and just listen to older music and I, I just like to hear the old sounds. You know, I like to hear uh, just really, really old recordings. So this is Justin from Seabright. What up, y'all? <laughs> and uh, thank we're, you. We're in the back alleys. Of <laughs> back alley. Crack alley interviews. <laughs>